Wait, what? Oh, it's the start of the chapter. I was gonna be like, what chapter complete? The Great Boggly Tree. Ooh, it's pretty. Boggly Woods. <laughs> Ah, oh, so this is where that music is from. So, the Boggly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious. Alright, what are we running to next? Um, okay, just a bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. All right, where can we go? <laughs> Time to get to work, lollies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. Hey, find that Mario guy and B. Steal the map to the crystal stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's... What's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what you mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. <laughs> Vivian, for shame! Picking up someone's scraps, disgusting, greedy! But enough about that, Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy and you got from Grotus. Mwee hee hee. E what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You, sh you should have. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I have. I don't have that thing. You are in charge of it. You, you wretched little worm, blaming, blaming me for something you probably screwed up. Wow, just trying to blame it on somebody else. But I, I'm just, I'm just over here observing. Go, go. Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Marilyn? Huh? Was that a mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf! Save your games for later! Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian! Don't tell me you lost our precious sketch! But listen, I... Look, it's not my fault! I never had the sketch! Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child! It's clear to me that the only r rationale your type understands is force! <gasps> My beads! For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, Beldum! Oh, you're horrid! And then in comes me. Hi. <laughs> well, what am I to do? Don't worry, I got this. Damn. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave a scram right now. I have no business with you. Oh, uh, go. Go. All right. Hey, just Pay me no mind, I guess. Oh, that's not a thing I want to get in combat with. Honey! Oh, well, I guess... 
couldn't avoid it. It was, it was a trap! Okay, so they don't take any damage. Wait, can I- can I not hurt these things? Are they, like, made out of stone or something? Alright, tattle on them for me. A cleft, a rockhead jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker! Max HP two, attack is two, and defense is two. That hard head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pretty effective usually. If nothing seems to work on it, you can always just run. All right, we gotta run. Run. <laughs> Got away. Oh, there, can you see it? That big tree. Look, looks pretty small from here. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Oh, wait, there's something back there. No, send me back! Okay. I got scared a little bit. An in coupon. Who's into extreme, extreme couponing? Where's this go? What was the point of that? Alright, I'm just gonna go the the great tree. I like how this tree has like a red steel emergency exit. Uh. Wait, who's saying this? What's going on? Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Oh, quit being melodramatic, although it does look thick. What are we gonna do now? Uh... Um... Hmm? Um... Hmm? Got it! Oh, where's he going? Long ago, the puny Ellen told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is... I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. 
What should we do? How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's secret for a reason, you know. Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. That's specific. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us! Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a, uh, a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this. She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurries live in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Alright then. Gotta be more stuff, right? Oh, what is this? Looks like poop. Oh no. FP plus. There it is. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. Wait, is, is that supposed to be her? How, how can we... Oh, wait. What? This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little puties that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my! It's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of ex exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage on me! I like how I kind of like snorted there. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. Uh, stop giving me all these characters that are like have high pitched voices. It's settled then I shall rise again, but before I make my stage comeback. I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. Wait, is this the uh, thing I'm thinking of? No, it's gone. Gone, I tell you, my, my. What's gone? Sh secret. All right, so now I got to figure out how to get there. Do I still have that thing following me? I do. If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. Run, Mario. Run, don't look back. Save yourself. Alright, let's not get uh, attacked by anything. It's a dead end. Wait, I have to use the... The flight path to get up there? I'm not gonna make it though, I need to hit that switch. No, don't attack me. So how do I get up then? Yes, I do see it. But it's not high enough. We need we need the wind. Oh yeah, I should probably take this uh this cricket badge off cuz I don't think any other bosses are afraid of crickets.
Okay. Yeah, oh god. Uh, okay, I see. Nice. Thanks for the tip. That should go higher. Yep. Perfect. Go in the pipe! Lucky. That was close. A quake hammer slowly damage all ground enemies. God, those things are fast. Look there in the distance. That's what I was telling you about Flurry's place. I guess I'm not jumping. Wait, who's talking? Uh, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Wait, isn't she supposed to be like a ghost though? Madame Flurry, hello? If you're here, say something! She's dead. Eek! No, out of the question! You mustn't come in here! Huh? Madame Flurry? Are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I last uh, saw you last, you poor dear. Is there something you need? Ah, uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help with us, ma'am. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. That's a weird way to describe it, because it's a door, but okay. Entry hole. Going with that, I guess. There's a stupid door we can't seem to open. My my punny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs those crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. What's that one? I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily uh, uh, constitutional, yes. It'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's it. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I'm all about the accessories. Hey, wait a sec. You lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu big time. I swear, someone just said they found a necklace. 
What's that? Do you do speak up? You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to where my necklace uh, could be? If you do, you must help me. Please be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend, Punio. Don't worry, Madame Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your neck. I keep changing, changing the voice like every time. Necklace words is, he's super. You can do it right, Mario. <laughs> my vocal cords are not going to be working tomorrow. Sure, why not? Great, it's decided then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. It breaks my heart. Probably gonna get in a fight for it. Beldam, I told you! Blaming me for losing the, the sketch and you had it! Silence, you twit! Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details! We must study this sketch! Go. Go. <gasps> looks like Mario! Wow! This Mario guy looks so manly! Check out that bushy mustache! How handsome! You know something, though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before! Ah, he's Mr. Mustache! Go, go. Ah, I don't believe this. Vivian, this is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you square brain. Don't cup that insolent attitude with me. Ugh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Ah. And, since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Gurg. I like how they just don't talk at all. They just go the whole time. Oh, go. Huh? All right, now I got to go all the way back. Oh, I hate these enemies. Oh, come on! Rip the coins. I'm gonna be broke. Well, if it isn't Mario... Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. Hmm, <laughs> and you know why? Cause you were, we were waiting for you. Is that so? Oh, that's them. They're the ones who had the. Wait a minute, what? You've been waiting for Mario? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? I have no quarrel with you, but I simply cannot allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so, I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the crystal stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you freaks? Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The three? Sha 
Shadow Beauties! The three Shadow Beauties? Vivian, you nincompoop! What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens! I don't see three beauties, I see two, and then there's you and your plug ugly! Damn. My feelings. Oh, right, sis, I'm sorry. It's just, you always call us lovelies, and... It's just a figure of speech. Oh, and you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. She's getting the paddle! That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Or rather, my lovely and ugly Marlin Vivian. The might of the three Shadow Sirens will be more than enough to win the day. Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marlin, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Go. Yes, sis. Oops, wrong thing. That's Vivian. She's the youngest of the three Shadow Sirens. Max HP, 10 attacks, 1, and defense is 0. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Uh, she is kind of cute, I guess. She might even be cuter than I am. Oh, wow. That's, that's high praise. I guess. Like, I guess. Uh. Uh, what am I thinking? Go for the big one. Ow! Really? Oh my god. Of course I missed the second one. Oh my god. Oh, she waits so long. That's not fair. All right, let's try that again. Okay, I at least got an extra one in. Hit him, Marlin, now! Go! Oh, okay, I did not expect that. Oh, they were real small now. I think I'd be fine using one of these here. They're, gonna, I, they're probably gonna do no damage, so let's tattle. Nice. That's Marlin, she's a Shadow Siren, Beldum's younger sister. Max HP, 12, attack is 2, and defense is 0. She charges up her attacks occasionally. It says here she's the toughest of the sisters, so it might be best to defeat her first. Knew it. I knew it. It's always the big one. <clears throat> gotcha. Ah, messed up the timing. Uh, that's not good. Uh, well, they're all kind of like floating. I don't know if that would work. Should probably get health back. Oh, come on, no! 
It's not a whole lot of health for Mario. At least take that one out. <clears throat> oh, oh god! Dead. Ah, it's only three damage. Not too bad. Lucky. Man, I'm so bad at that. What are you doing, Vivian, you twit? I'll never forgive you if you lose. S sorry, sis. The magic finger. Sis. All right, one to go. Oh no! Oh no! I'm tiny. Zero damage. That's Beldum. She's the oldest sister, the leader of the Shadow Sirens. Max nice HP 9, attack is 1, and defense 0, but her blizzard attack is an attack of 2. She can make her partners big and make us tiny in the attacks with weird music. Er... Man, I'm just... Hecking up a bunch of words tonight. Magic, not music. <laughs> the worst thing about her is that sinister snicker. She sounds so totally evil. I mean, she's just sort of a person you want to avoid, like the plague, you know? Lucky. Really? Come on. Oh, now I'm dizzy? Really? Um... I don't think I do any damage being small. Yeah, I don't do anything. Ah, you're tougher than I thought, Mr. Mustache. I guess it's time to stop toying with you. Mm. Oh no. Oh, okay. I'm still dizzy. I'm at least bigger. Oh, no, that was a good item. Rip. Should have looked in the audience first. Alright, we got it. Just too overconfident. Marlin, Vivian, you lumps. We would have won if you two poured your weight. Both of you prepare for a world class punishment session when we get home. G yes, sis. <laughs> <laughs> 